Hi, I'm Mac Voy, the Lighting and Video Supervisor at Chicago Shakespeare Theater, and today we're doing a segment of Backstage at Home all about LED tape. I'm going to show you how we've used this unique technology backstage, give you some ideas about how you could use it at home, and give you a quick tutorial on how to wire it up. dive into the wonderful world of LED tape, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my role at Chicago Shakespeare Theatre. My name is Mac Voy, and my job title at CSD is Lighting and Video Supervisor. I work in the production department and I'm responsible for the team that installs the physical stage lighting and video systems that the lighting and video designers use to create their designs for our shows. My team of technicians physically hangs, circuits, networks, and focuses the lighting and video equipment. Our department is also responsible for fabricating show-specific lighting elements that are integrated into scenery, props, or costumes. One of our favorite tools that we use for these installs is LED tape. What is LED tape? Most simply, LED tape is a strip of tape that lights up. It uses a piece of technology called a light-emitting diode, an LED, to generate the light. There's a close-up of the LED. LED tape comes in a lot of varieties. Flavors is what we usually call them. You can get some that's just plain white or tape that emits a specific color of light. Here's some in red. Green, blue, various color temperatures of white. Here's a warm white, natural white. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what it's referred to. Here's a cool one. They even have a special. They even have specialty wavelengths like this UV black light one here. You can also get tape that has multiple colored emitters embedded into the same piece of tape. What do we use LED tape for backstage? We use it all the time. Anytime we need to make something light up, like a piece of scenery or make something light up from the inside, we use LED tape. It's great for tight, small spaces where a traditional theatrical light just won't fit. Let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. Here's a picture from our recent production of the Scottish play. Well, I guess since it's backstage at home, I can say it. Macbeth, here's a production of Macbeth. If you take a look at the fire underneath the cauldron there, that's made with some LED. Here's a picture from our production of Peter Pan. See that cute little house there with its glowing windows? That was made with LED tape. That reminds me, there's another great feature of LED tape, which that it's, you know, it's all relatively low voltage, anywhere from five to 24 volts, which makes it a perfect illumination source for anything that we need to make operate wirelessly because we can power it with batteries. Here are some shots from Q Brothers Christmas Carol. See that cityscape? That's LED tape. Here's another angle of it. Uh, lit up all in red. Here you can see it during the show. There's, there it is being multicolor, and there it is all in red. All of that's the same LED tape. Pretty neat, right? Let me show you some action shots of some wireless devices. This is from a production of Roadshow. You can see that house flying there. Same idea with the uh, Wizard of Oz. Here's Dorothy's little house, and there it is flying off into space there with, uh, with the lights still on. Let me also show you some pictures of the trident from The Little Mermaid. This really gives an, uh, an idea as to how LED tape can really make a prop glow from the inside. Let me just stop here to give a shout out to my colleagues in the prop shop who actually make these amazing objects. Sure, it's cool to be able to make the windows and a little house light up, but it's a totally different thing. It requires a totally different skill set to actually those objects. We've got some really talented artists that work in the prop shop to make these amazing objects. I just wanted to give them a little bit of credit. Speaking of cool objects, there's one more I wanted to show you because it really details how we install the LED tape backstage. This is a brazier we used in Shakespeare in Love. You can see there's the coals of it there. And there's a view of the LED tape. That blue object is something we call a tiny fogger to make some smoke. But that is a topic for another video. Here's a picture of the brazier on stage doing its thing. Well, I hope you're sufficiently impressed with some of the capabilities of LED tape. Let me give you some ideas for some projects you could use this for around your own home. You could put some LED tape behind your crown molding to do this cool up light effect on your ceiling. Now this is a pretty cool one. Lots of people are sticking this underneath their cars to do a cool ground lighting effect. You do have to note uh, that is illegal in the state of Illinois, so if you're going to do this in Illinois, uh, just don't drive on any public streets with your underglow kit. Finally, you could use this for some task lighting. This is uh, actually Alec Thorne, CSD's assistant lighting supervisor's actual kitchen. Take a look there. That's just some LED tape and a little channel, and he uses it to light his uh, countertop. There's a ton of stuff you can do. Any place you need a little bit of extra light, LED tape's a great candidate. 
And keep in mind this stuff's relatively low voltage, so usually the wiring code requirements are a lot less stringent than with 120 volt. But please, you're gonna go ahead and start stringing up some wires, check your local building codes, make sure you're not in any violation. So let me show you how to wire this stuff up. It's pretty straightforward. The first thing we need to do is cut the tape and get the pieces that we're going to use for our project together. For this demo, we're just going to use, go ahead and use these two pieces of tape here. It's pretty easy to cut, very easy to deal with. You can see that there is a little cut mark right there. You know, it looks like a bow tie, but it really is a little pair of scissors. You can just cut right down on any of those cut places right there, any of those cut marks. Uh, any pair of scissors will do. Uh, I'm going to use my pair of kitchen shears here. You know, maybe not ideal, but hey, it's COVID time, so you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay. You just go ahead and make this cut right here, right down the middle. Very easy. Just like that. I wanted to point out this different um, joint here. This is where the manufacturer has soldered two pieces together. It's no big deal. You can cut right through that. It's a little harder to cut than the regular tape, but no problem. Let me just show you how that's done here. Just give that a big slice. You gotta push a little harder than you normally would. Cut that off. Okay, great. So we've got our two pieces of tape cut. The next thing we need to do is start thinking about attaching some leads to this. Take a look at these terminals here. This is where we're gonna solder on some wires to connect them to the power supply. Those little... Oh, right, power supply. I should tell you how to power this thing up. So LED tape requires direct current, so we need something to convert the alternating current that comes out of the wall at 120 volts to the voltage that the LED tape requires. Ours is 24 volt. That's what that little plus 24 means on the tape. Uh, direct current is polarized, which means the current's only going to go in one way, so the red indicates the positive terminal, black indicates the negative terminal. See those little copper areas there? Those are called solder pads. That's where we're gonna attach the wires coming off the power supply. This is a multicolor piece of LED tape, so it has five different solder pads. The plus 24 volts comes from the positive terminal on the power supply. G controls the green LEDs, R, red, W, white, and B, blue. Now we're gonna go ahead and solder on the leads. Before we get to soldering, I just want to talk a little bit about safety. This tool gets very, very hot, so make sure you're careful about where you set it down. If you've got one of these little carriers, make sure to put it there. Solder also can off-gas a little bit when you're soldering, so make sure that you're doing things in a well-ventilated area. Now we're going to go ahead and tin the tape. I've just stuck it to my work surface here with a sticky back thing. It's one of the beauties of LED tape. You can just stick it right down. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of solder to the plus 24 volt pad, just like so. Great, now we're gonna move over to the white pad and put, add a little bit of solder to the white pad. You know, for this demo, we're not gonna go ahead and hook up all the other colors. I just wanna kinda of show you how it works. But if we were gonna use this backstage, we absolutely would hook up all of the colors so the lighting designer could use that element for their show. All right, we've got the tape tin. Now we're gonna do the same process for the wires that we're going to attach to the tape. Solder really likes to stick to itself, so it's important that you get a little bit of solder both on the wire and on the pad, so we'll just tin that there. You can see I've got my little helping hand here to help me out. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do that to the other lead there, just like that. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and attach these to the tape. We've got both the tape and the leads tin, so we can go ahead and solder these together. We've got this one here, that's the positive lead, so we're going to attach that to the plus 24 volt. That's positive coming off the power supply. Just go ahead and add a little bit of heat, get the solder melted, get them soldered together. We'll use the negative one on the white pad right there, just like so. Add a little bit of heat. There we go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach this piece of tape to the next piece of tape. It's the same process. We're going to go ahead and tin the leads, tin the tape, and then solder them together.
All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. We're just gonna take these two things and plug them together. Look at that, yay, that's awesome. Okay, so now you can just go ahead and stick it to whatever you wanna stick it to. You can stick it to your soldering iron if you want to, you know, whatever, whatever your project demands. Now, if uh, the only way we have to turn this on and off now is to plug it or unplug it. For your project at home, you might wanna think about wiring in a switch or something. Maybe we'll do that in another video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video about LED tape, how we use it backstage, and how you might be able to use it at home. And I hope you'll join us next time for another segment of Chicago Shakespeare's Backstage at Home.